but the story you will only see on RTV6. Tonight, Logansport police are looking for people who ripped off a nonprofit. Cass County Humane Society operators say they already are filled to capacity and strapped for funding. But tonight, someone broke in and stole the resources they need to help to use and help those animals. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet joins us live with this full story. Ebony? Rafael, police believe this burglary likely happened sometime Sunday evening, and whoever is responsible scaled a barbed wire fence and broke in, taking electronics and money, but not before breaking things along the way. There's newborn puppies and kittens at Cass County Humane Society. But instead of adoption preps, operators are dealing with a burglary. When I came in, I noticed right away my door was open and uh, it's always locked when I leave. And there was, there's a TV that sat on this desk over here and it's gone. Executive Director Lisa Clark says the money collected from recent adoptions is gone. I had money in here. But the most of it was in here, obviously. That's where they did most of the damage. I had a money bag in the second drawer, and um, they took that. The stolen money would have helped pay for housing needs for the beyond capacity shelter and for the medical care of animals like Lizzie, who's set to deliver any minute. The Humane Society does have several cameras throughout the building to protect the animals and supplies, but police fear the video evidence may be lost. The thief ripped out the hard drive. I think that it was someone that knew exactly where to go and possibly an ex-employee. The Humane Society's digital camera is also gone. It's what they use to connect these faces to people who can give them a home. Clark tells us they were already operating under a very tight budget, so she says this break-in puts them in a really tough situation. She says they need things for the animals to care for the animals, like kitty litter and other things. To find out more ways in which you can help, you can log on to theindiechannel.com. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.